Tired of your plain, boring white shirts? Put a salad on it! Wow! New scrub shirts available! Link in the description. Now onto the video. Oh god, this is Monica's gonna interrupt, right? Or is she not? I, I'd prefer if she did it, because I would like to see like what- Yeah, freaking Monica. She's like, did you feed Yuri chocolate again? There we go. Oh! You know what's coming! You know what's coming right now! All girls are the best girl, okay? No discrimination on this channel. What is up, guys? BG Mike back again with another episode of Doki Doki, a brand new day. If you guys have no idea what that is, uh, feel free to check out past episodes. It's an amazing mod where our character becomes more self-aware. We've been having these really weird dreams. Things are just acting crazy out there. <laughs> I know that that uh, description made you want to check it out, okay? Now before we continue on with this series, uh, which I think we're actually coming to a close very soon. I did get a new edition of this, so perhaps some things might be different. Maybe we'll, we'll go back later on, I don't know. Also, link the link in the description I didn't realize was not right. Or they updated it and changed it. So I'll be sure to correct that for the- uh, Cause I know some of you guys, I see you on Reddit, alright? I see you asking where I can get this mod. I'm like, well I linked it in the description. Then I checked it, I'm like, oh. Doesn't work. It did at one time, alright? Anyway, let's continue on, guys. So just to kind of bring it around town, guys. If you watched last episode, uh, Sayuri stayed the night at our house. And, uh, uh, it was cold. Okay? So we're questioning, when have my parents been home? When's the last time I've even seen them? I've got bored of ordering food, so I had to do something. Yeah, that's- I mean, I always question that in every, like, visual novel uh, type of game that we play. We both finish up and start heading out of school. I feel like another great day is coming ahead. Would you say... A brand new day? Huh? Well, while walking to school, Sayori gets a, a phone call. A phone call. <laughs> Hello, Mom! Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. No, he didn't do anything to me. <laughs> well, why would- why would the first thing her mom do freaking say that? We talked to them. Sayori turns her head and sticks her tongue at me. Picking me up after class? Why? Doctor's appointment, but I'm not sick. Yeah, so a really main thing last episode is that we told Sayori's parents about the news that we found and that she's depressed and, and all this, so I guess they're gonna take her to a doctor. I'm not really sure if that's the best course of action. In fact, I'm not even sure how to handle that, but I don't know. Okay, I'll wait for you after class. Love you, mom. Bye. I get a text on my phone. It's a message from Sayori's mom thanking me, uh, thanking me for watching over her daughter. They're letting me know they're picking her up after class to take her to the hospital to get screened for depression. I guess you could. I guess you could. I just never really thought of that. <laughs> Determination flows into my heart. I hold on to Sayori's hand and run to school. Well, what do you think you're doing? We run to school and Sayori gets flustered. We're running into the sunset, clearly. Well, classes are finished. I walked Sayori out uh, to her parents. So, so this is all new. I'm excited. I gave her a big hug and a kiss on the forehead. Ah, my heart can't take it. I let her know if she needed anything. To call that, I'm here for her. Uh, here I am back in the class. I, I guess I'm the first one here. I wanted to talk to Monica today, but I guess she's still practicing the piano. At least we hope so. I can't wait to hear her play. I bet it sounds nice. Oh crap! Hi, Natsuki. It's not long before Natsuki comes to me unexpectedly or expectedly. Yeah, yeah, don't worry, I kept my promise. I'm sorry I missed you yesterday, but it did give me some time to reread it again. I pull the first volume of Parfait Girls out of my bag. Natsuki takes it from my hands and quickly turns it over, presuming, presumingly to check for wrinkles. Hey, I'm not that careless. I, <laughs> I handle manga all the time, you know. No way I'm gonna mess it up someone else's treasure. I just wanted to make sure. Can you blame me for being paranoid? I don't give people my manga every day, you know. That means we're special, okay? That's true, I don't blame you. Well, anyway, let me put this one back. I'm gonna get the next one, okay? Natsuki makes her way to the closet. I follow. So you're going to be tell- So you're gonna tell me everything you thought, right? Where did this volume leave off again? I forget. Uh, the chapter ended with Minori and Alice are found- Wait, what the heck? Monica? Wait. Wait, what? Natsuki's voice resonates out from inside the closet. Huh? My parents sighed. All of Natsuki's books are lined up on the top shelf. Did you move my manga again? <laughs> Don't touch my manga! Ah, sorry, sorry. The teacher got mad at me for making or uh, taking up so much space in her closet. So I had to move some stuff around and clean up a little bit. It's all still there. I just had to organize it a bit. Ugh. The top shelf is far above Natsuki's head. She makes a futile hop, futile hop trying to figure out how to reach her manga. Jeez, this is so inconvenient. I'm moving these all back down. There's plenty of room on these shelves. And besides, they're pretty, uh, they're really pretty to look at when they're all lined up. Uh. It's so true. I, I actually like collecting manga. I should do it more. I recently started collecting anime figures. Like, I've always had a few, but i kind of been collecting them more ever since uh, the trip to Japan. 
Uh, it's really great. Uh, I mean, come on, guys. I'm playing. We're playing Doki Doki. What do you expect from me? All right. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, I wish I had more manga because manga is pretty. It's pretty cool. Easy to read as well. Why would you waste that on the top shelf? Ah, Natsuki, there's a stool on the wall there. In the closet, there's a collapsible stool that's hanging on the wall. If you want, I can reach up there and hand them to you. I can get them myself! You never degrade Natsuki. She can do it. Natsuki grabs the stool from the wall and unfolds it. You think I'm too short or something? It's <laughs> exactly what, what I think. No, I just want to help. That's all. I'm not judging you on being vertically challenged, as <laughs> what you should call them. I knew it! <laughs> well, you know what? Just watch me. Natsuki hops into the stool, which ends up being a little wobbly because of its collapsible design. Oh no, she fell and she landed on top of us! What are we gonna do? <laughs> That's such an anime moment, isn't it? Gross! Ugh. A fist pounds into my chest. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did this, alright? It's a little fan service for Natsuki. I think you guys get the point. <laughs> are you trying to kill your club members? This is why you shouldn't put things on the top shelf, Monica. And, uh... <laughs> Natsuki, I have news for you. She is trying to kill her club members. Sorry about that. <laughs> She's so evil. Oh no. One of the books that fell got a crease on it. Uh, it must have landed on the page. Natsuki tries a bit more to fix the crease, but she can't get it out. Suddenly, she gives up and slams the book shut, then throws it to the floor. Instead of continuing to yell, she just lowers her head. Natsuki, are you? No. Natsuki's voice squeaks. This is why you don't mess with people's anime, okay? I see tears on her face. I hope you get the crease out, okay? It's my fault too! Natsuki shakes her head, still looking down. No, I don't even care that much. I'm just having a really bad day today. Wait, do I, I, I'm so mixed up. We played so many different things that I don't remember what's happening. Like, if, we, if we've seen this or not. My heart, it just feels like something is, is happening. I need to take care of, of her more. The next couple of minutes are silent between us as I begin gathering the scattered books. So basically, she's just like, you know, she's saying she's had a bad day, then we're nice to her. I make sure to slip them in the box in the correct order. So yeah, we're obviously getting to the point of the game where we're trying to... This is like the Natsuki route, basically. I don't know how it's gonna be different, but I... I can't wait to see, alright? Well, I'm really getting into this manga. Told you. Yeah, you were right. Yeah, Parfait Girls is awesome. I return to my seat and slip uh, the book into my bag. Aw, oh, man, I keep having to cut in and out unexpectedly. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. You must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up piano? Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival too. Ah, I can't wait for the festival. It's gonna be great. I know, I'm really looking forward to like what's gonna happen at this festival and what's gonna happen with Sayori. Weren't you complaining about it just yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah, I'm not talking about our part of the festival, but it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all the kinds of delicious food. You sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Monica, do you usually have a fried squid? Or do they usually have fr a fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people? I don't say- I didn't say I didn't like it. Besides, what do you mean by all of you people? Because it's right in your name. Monica. Wait, what? That's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. <laughs> ah, never mind. What is it, like, Monica means squid or something? Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? Fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as funny as Yuri's or Sayuri's anyway. Excuse me? Where is Sayuri anyway? Well, her parents picked her up and she had a doctor's appointment to go to. Really? That's strange. She didn't tell anyone about it. I just found out this morning. I wanted to pass the message to everyone, so it's just us today. The girls decide to work on their own activities. I timidly approach Monica who is shuffling through the papers at her desk. Scrapai, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little bit strange, but have you noticed anything up with Sayori recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? The past few days she's been acting kind of strange. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything, anything about her. Maybe there's something on her mind. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, that's what I need to talk to you about. She's always talked to me about things that uh, bother her, but lately she's been secretive until finally I discovered it on my own. Sorry, I know it's not your problem, but I think you should know as the president. No, no, it's important to me too. I mean, I'm also friends with her, and also I care about the well-being of my club members, you know. Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Well, she's already gone to the doctor, that's what I need to tell you about. A few days ago, I went to her house because she wasn't outside ready for school. Lately, she's been coming uh, out later and later, but this time, it was really late. I found a noose in her desk. Are you sure? Definitely sure. I informed her parents and told her that she's been feeling depressed for a while. Her parents are taking uh, her to a specialist at a local hospital to get screened for depression. I'm shocked! I can't believe our sweet Sayuri is suffering! What, what kind of villain does, does Monica remind you of? Uh, I'm trying to think of a perfect villain. But there, there's gotta be that perfect villain out there that just like pretends that they care and they don't. Oh, how about this? Scar from Lion King, right? 
Because when Sayuri's uh, uh, clinging for life on the cliff, Scar, Scar uh, aka Monica, is gonna just, you know, just. Ah! <laughs> uh, that was my recreation of the Lion King. Spoiler alert, by the way, that was that was a really sad part. It really was. Like, come on. Are you a monster? How could you not feel feelings for Simba right at the time? Me neither, but I was lucky to catch her before it was too late. I grabbed Monica's hand. All of you are my friends, which I care I care deeply for. I'll make dang sure nothing happens to any of you. Well, I'm glad to hear that. You're grabbing out of my hand really tight, you know? Sorry, I just love you all so much. You're so funny, scrub pie. But that wasn't funny at all. That was freaking I was dead serious. Like that was comes from that came from the depths of my soul and you're laughing. She just, she just gets worse every time. Uh, whoops, I let go of Monica's hand. Monica smiles meaningfully. Thanks for the talk, Scrub Pine. You really are kind. Okay, okay. I still question whether or not, like, Monica is gonna go crazy this playthrough, or she's gonna be normal, I don't know. I check around the room to see if Yuri is free. Now it's the Yuri, uh, it's Yuri time now. I, I noticed that Yuri is reading a different book than she was before. Sorry I didn't mean to interrupt you again. Oh, no. I was just kind of waiting for you to come. Well, if that's the case, why don't we go ahead and continue where we left off? Yes, let's. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Well, yes, I do. Last time you made tea, you punched me in the face. Okay, so that's, that wasn't good. Thanks very much. Oh, she's gonna do it anyway. If there's one, th yeah, and by the way, we never talked about that ever again. She, there was the cuts on her arms and then she punched us out. Never said sorry, like, just saying. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea, not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small picture from the shelf, the, the kind with the filter inside. Can you hold on to this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, she's feeling more confident. We know this. It, oh, it won't take long. She's going to give us some more water. It better not or else I am coming after you again. Okay, so here we go. I will dodge next time too. Picture in hand, Yuri. Did we tell her that, or did we think that? I'm back. Thanks for waiting patiently. Wow, that was freaking quick. Scrubpie, do you like oolong tea? Uh, yeah, anything's fine. Well, very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Now it's time to get to the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others, even if I'm not an expert on tea, on tea or anything. <laughs> what the heck? In that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Uh, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. She must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show. And you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking, and I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. Must not stare at chest. So we're sitting really close together. You guys kind of had, ha you know how the shebang goes. After a few minutes, I finally managed to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumbled with the chocolates. Is this the part where we feed her? Ah, uh, you like chocolate, huh? I got chocolate, huh? <laughs> oh, she she grabbed our arm and jerked us to our feet. Scrub pie. My heart. My heart won't stop pounding, scrub pie. Uh, I can't calm down. Okay, so, so this is before things go crazy, right? I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, scrub pie? Yuri suddenly presses my hand and gets her- Oh, why is this happening to me? I didn't know chocolate had this effect on you. <laughs> chocolate! <laughs> I feel like I'm losing my mind. Are you okay? I can't make it stop. Is everything okay? Uh, we can go to the nurse, you know? It even makes me not want to read. Oh, that's how you know, right? I just want... To look at you. Haha. <laughs> God, it's so creepy. You have pretty eyes. Oh, wait, that's us. Ha! <laughs> oh, God. This is Monica's gonna interrupt, right? Or is she not? I I'd prefer if she didn't, because I would like to see, like, what. Yeah, freaking Monica. She's like, Did you feed your chocolate again? Like, think about it, guys. When, when that happened, that's when Monica decided, Okay, it's time to strike down. All right, it's trying to strike down on these girls. Because obviously this is getting too crazy after what Yuri did. Turns out Yuri is the most insane one of them all, and or like the most outgoing one of them all, for us for her to do something like that. Wait, hold on a second. It's just me, or did you say something strange just now? Uh, something did sound a bit unusual. Wait, what did she say? She said you three. Like this is what she said. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out? Hold on a second, and then okay, what? Uh, that's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. Catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez, why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri is, uh, isn't is immune to it. Uh, stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Sayuri isn't here. 
See, Monica's sweating. She said something different. <laughs> it seems you're right. Sayuri always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It almost feels like the balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Nasuki, please show some uh, decency. Ah, oh, come on. I noticed how Scrubpie has been getting all lovey-dovey with everyone. So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Oh no, you guys caught me! Huh? The curious expression coming from Yuri all, uh, of all people. Calm down, guys. Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparation. So, let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. Okay, so uh, this is gonna be interesting. Normally, we'd get to pick which girl we want to go with, even though the only choice, I think, was either Yuri or Natsuki. So, are we gonna get a choice now? Oh, okay, so, okay, they just addressed that, that Natsuki's gonna be handling the cupcakes. So, we'll probably go with Yuri. And as for myself, I'm gonna be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Sayori will help her. Okay, okay. And for Yuri... Yuri, Yuri, you can't, um... Guys? Can you help me come up with something for Yuri? <laughs> Wait, what? I- I'm useless. No, 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 that's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know? Oh, great, now Natsuki's pouting too. Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sayuri enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Uh, that may be the case, but if I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So, Yuri, you have a beautiful handwriting, you know? So you should just make banners and decorations to help the atmosphere. Um, about that, I- I love atmosphere! <laughs> She seems so determined. So, are we not gonna help anyone? But anyway, that just leaves you, Scrub Pie. Yeah, the one who truly is useless. Hey, don't say that! In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It'd probably go a long way to help, uh, give them a hand. Oh, so we do get to pick. Is Monica suggesting that I spend the weekend with one of my club members? Wink, wink, huh? <laughs> you guys, you guys know what we're talking about here? Ah, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Wait, <laughs> We don't get it. What the, this is our choice now. Why can't I have it all? Huh? Why can't I spend time with everyone? I'll just I'll just clone myself sounds great Well, what stopped me with helping everyone? It's the weekend after all I'm free all weekend I'm willing to help the club and all of you if you don't mind what you can really do that hold on a second Yeah, scroll by how are you gonna figure this out anyways? Well the passion burns within me. That's enough, right? Let's do this! We have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off. How about I do a day with each of you? Sounds fair, right? How about Friday? I can work with Monica and Sayuri on the pamphlets. Hey, that's gonna be cool. We've never got to do that. Saturday, I work with Yuri on the posters. Sunday, I can help Natsuki with the cupcakes. Why does Monica have to be first? Yeah. Well, think of it like this. I need to check on Sayuri and Monica will be able to come with me since they're working, you know, together. Sunday would be the best day for the cupcakes, too, since they would be the freshest for the festival. Oh, yeah, I didn't think of that. That's actually really smart. Sorry, no worries. Then it's a date. No, you did not just say that, dude. Uh, yes, I did. <laughs> he answered me. <laughs> I think that's about it for today. Scrub, Scrub Pie came up with a good plan for us meeting together. Don't forget your date and give him your phone number. Ooh, I get all the phone numbers. All right, this is a good plan, Scrub Pie. See you tomorrow. It's a date, right? Ah, uh, she's making fun of me now. Monica leaves the class. Um, uh, where are you going? Natsuki pulls me over to the side. We still need to figure out our plans for this weekend. You literally would have gotten home and realized that you didn't even have a way to contact me. Oh, that's true. I have no idea how that slipped my mind. Jeez, good thing I stopped you. I'm giving you my number, okay? You better not make it weird or anything. Why would I do that? Natsuki gives me her number. Okay, I'm coming over on Sunday. Uh, I'll bring all the ingredients. Wait, you're coming to my house? Well, yeah. What's wrong with that? I mean... I just figured that since I'm the one helping, I would be going to your house. Yeah, right. Like I could have a guy over at my house. My dad would kill me. I think she's like literal about that too. That's the sad part. Or not sad, but like the, the, the insane crazy part. That's kind of strict if you ask me. Yeah, how do you think I feel? I can't do anything when my dad is home. Anyway, I just need to complain for a second. We have each other's numbers now. And that's all I needed from you. I guess I'll text you when I'm coming over. Alright, fine by me. I'll be home all day. Yeah. I'm really gonna show you why I love baking so much, so you better look forward to it. You know dang well I will, but didn't you say you were just gonna give me the dirty work? Well, I was just saying that. It's not like I can act like that in front of everyone, like I was looking forward to this. Wait, really? Well, kind of, just because I never get to bake with anyone else before. That makes two of us. That's all it is, so let's make some sweet, sweet bacon on Sunday. See you on Sunday. Ah, never mind. Natsuki heads out of the class. I get yanked to the back of- I get yanked by the back of my jacket. Huh? Um, I turn around. Sorry. I realized that I don't have any way of contacting you this weekend. Oh, yeah, you're right. I can't believe that slipped my mind. 
you gotta watch out for Yuri. Um, I mean, the closet thing, she punched us. I think we should worry just a little bit. I think that would be the best way, yes. All right then, Yuri and I exchange phone numbers. This is the most, this is the most numbers of girls I will ever have in my phone ever. <laughs> I cherish this moment. Okay, then I'll be stopping by your house on Saturday. Uh, my house? Seems like everyone wants to come to my place. I guess this isn't no freaking hotel, right? People can't just come stay. I just thought I'd be the one going to your house since I'm the one helping you. Uh, I suppose that makes sense, but if you don't mind, I think I prefer going to your house. Alright, in that case, it won't be a problem. I decided not to press Yuri for a reason. It's not like I should matter- it shouldn't matter that much anyway. I'll just need to make sure my room is clean. Wink, wink. <laughs> Whatever that means. I hope I managed to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Don't underestimate yourself, Scrub Pie. I think that we'll make a very productive team. Even if you only choose me because you felt bad or something. I mean, what, what do you mean by that? You don't actually think that, do you? I picked all of you since I want to be with everyone. So is this all gonna end in some weird harem? I just- I'm curious. Okay, so now we're walking home. Sayori. My phone rings. Hello? Hey, it's Sayori. Say Sayori. Why did I say that weird? <laughs> Hi, Skrupai. I'm still at the hospital. Somehow my parents know I've been depressed and I'm going through all sorts of tests now. So, uh, she lets out a sigh. The doctor told me I have to start taking a medicine called Flo- Flo- I'm not even gonna try. Every day. I'll tell you more tomorrow once they finish the tests. I tell her about the plans that are going uh, on this weekend. Oh, you're going to be really busy having girls come over to your house this weekend. You better not have any dirty thoughts. Too late. <laughs> I try to change the subject. Oh, don't forget if there's no school tomorrow. You and Monica are coming over to my place to work on pamphlets. Got it? Got it, I'll bring my laptop and some supplies. That's great, I've got a printer at home, so let's, uh... And some thick cardstock for the pamphlets. Pa pamph pamphlets. See you tomorrow, Skrupai. Take care, Sayori. I hang up the phone. I head inside my home. I'm glad Sayori's doing okay. I clean up my house and have some dinner ready uh, to go to bed, or he then head to bed. Tomorrow's going to be another busy day. Oh, crap, what the heck? I need to give you something. She may not trust you. If you give this to her, she may believe you. Do not lie to her. To them. Dang it, why did we get those little bits and pieces, but we don't get like a big chunk? I need to know what is going on. I, I just, I mean, obviously, we, it's gotta be Monica, right? Something to do with Monica? I see in front of me a piece of paper with lots of strange writings on it. What? Wow. This is the first poem. I mean, it's not a poem, but, you know. It looks like I wrote it, but I have no idea what it means. Uh, I place an envelope and write Monica's name on it. It's not sure why, but I think it's the right thing to do. I shower and clean up my room. What the heck? So it's like we're being controlled. I hide all of my hint, uh, <laughs> unnecessary <laughs> uh, unnecessary items and place them in a sealed box into the closet with a padlock and chains. Now this is a room is now this room is presentable. I take the envelope and place it in my pocket. I head downstairs to the kitchen to make some breakfast. I wonder what I should make today. My phone rings. Monica called me letting me know that she'll be at your house soon. See you soon. Crap. Well, that was faster than expected. I hastily make something for breakfast and shove the lit in my mouth. Okay, dang, we've been recording for a while, haven't we? Alright, we got a phone call from Monica. See you soon! Okay, you too, Monica! She's awfully happy. Actually, I've never heard her this happy before. I hear my doorbell ring. I run to answer the door. Yay, I'm first! <laughs> I rush outside and give Sayuri a big hug. I've missed you! Sayuri starts crying uncontrollably. What the heck? Suddenly, Sayuri wraps her arms tightly around me. Scrub pie? I miss you so much too. Is this really okay? Well, of course it is. I hold Sayori in my arms and pull her closer. You'll never have to let go of me again. I love you, Scrub Pie. I want to be with you forever. I've been wanting to hear that for a long time. I love you too. We both end up, uh, we both end our embrace and go inside the house. She just bust out crying? Okay. So where can I sit at my laptop and start working? That was, that seemed like a very short, short emotional moment. So this is interesting. We've never got to see this because Mana, uh, Sayuri's never survived this far. I already loaded the cardstock in the printer. I moved the printer. Okay, so we're getting things prepared. That's a really smart thing to do. Thanks. Shortly after the doorbell rings again. What? Wait a minute. We've never seen this. Who drew this? It looks, it looks pretty cool. Hey, this is, I like this. I like this mods. We need some more original content like that. I love this. Monica, you didn't have to get all dressed up for me, okay? All right. All right, so, all right, guys. I think this is a good place to end it, okay? Uh, because of the fact that, first of all, I'm recording way too long. And next episode is going to be crazy because we're going to end up giving Monica some, that paper with that weird, like, really weird code on it. Is it going to stop her from doing something bad? What is she going to do? Again, because Sayori's never lived this long, so we have absolutely no idea what's going to happen. I'm pretty, 
hyped boy for that. Anyway, today's scrub of the day goes to- I'm sorry guys, I know you want to see more. Let's, let's just see the scrub of the day, okay? Let's just see what's, who's gonna be, right? This has nothing to do with what we're talking about, but Dan Salvazzo just tweeted, Do you know that I can break the fifth wall? Yes, I'm talking to you, higher dimensional being monitoring the simulation of our universe. Okay, sure, freaking Dan Salvato. I know he's working on the next game, and I I, I can't wait. And uh, I don't know if this is a hint or something, but that's kind of crazy. Today's scrub of the day is going to Myra, 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 or or Sam. I don't know which one it is. You though. <laughs> You're welcome, mate. My Chemical Romance, the Black Parade. Is that what, is that what it says? You, you show me the Black Parade right now? You know what I like. You know what I like, okay? When I was... Okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm not gonna go any further, okay? All right. We'll save it for my, my music channel that's coming real soon. It's not, actually. Thank you guys so much for watching this far. Uh, if you want to be scrub of the day, all you have to do is drop a like on this video. And uh, be sure to, you know, just leave comments, leave support. Any amount of support you guys give is always appreciated. It's really, really insane. Uh, I just wake up every day and I'm happy that I get to do what I, what I love to do. And I know I sound like a broken record. I should stop. <laughs> I should stop. Anyway, guys, stay tuned for the next episode. Uh, we're gonna bring you, we're gonna, I'm gonna be bringing you some other games as well in the future, not just Doki Doki, because obviously we can't play it forever. I totally get that, but I'm excited for other games, and I'm hoping you guys will, you know, give them a try because there's some really amazing games and, and just content out there that I want to make. Anyway, guys, subscribe if you haven't already by pressing it right there. Okay, do it.